me buy uncle if you could be you could be a good lady a good woman you could just say uncle bye me i didn't know the day you left if, even it is true i didn't know me i just finally reached the village when you already left but your own thing i will be chasing you with my leopard don't come here again no your door they are closed Next year, already coming here. You must have appointment, original appointment, coming into my place. And the lady was pretending it to be good. The lady was looking for a husband here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You think people they could choose you with your color? <laughs> no one like to choose you. You being chosen with an, a drunkard man here. You slept with a drunkard with two days, the drunkard chased you. Then you started crying, say, telling people, someone harassed you. You are the one harassing men in Nyabuan's village, not the one harassing you. You are the one. You miss it now. You, are, you, you, you think you could confuse them, but you didn't come with the money to give them. You, the guy, he danced with you this way, in music, in a, in a bar. When he was dancing with you, you... Greetings to you, my people. I hope that you're fine, wherever you are. Before you watch this video, you know how we do it here. Give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. By the way, it is free of charge. <laughs> Just free of charge. There are no hidden, you know, hidden agendas, eh? Do you get the tingle? So, my people, have you ever heard of when you go to Rome, do as the Romans do? But don't be the Romans. Hey, I've just added the second part myself. I don't know. And then there's another phrase. When you go to Vegas, whatever you see in Vegas, whatever you do in Vegas, you let it stay in Vegas. Like literally, when you come out of Vegas, you're not supposed to share with anyone anything that you saw or anything that you did. So my people, hmm, there's this lady called Joyce's. Is it Joyce's or Jace's diary? This lady is from the United Kingdom. She flew all the way from UK to Kenya. Just imagine all that distance. Then when she came to Nyabohanse, her intention was of course for her YouTube channel to grow. I think this one I've said so many times. So remember sometimes you can't begin a YouTube channel, but growing it becomes very, very hard. And that is why you saw many people flocking to Nyabohanse so that they can have the influence of Marwa. And among these many, many people we had, Joyce's. Joyce's went to Nyabohanse. She was welcomed and she was given a place to stay in Congrats mom's house. So I know, uh, of course, there's nobody who is new here unless I have new subscribers. Uh, to the newest subscribers, welcome. This is home. Take a seat and let's have this talk. So when Jesus was in Nyabohanse, she stayed at Dimwango's home. Do you get the tingle? And she was not staying alone. She, uh, she had a roommate that is called Paris. We all know Paris Mumo. Because Paris Mumo was uh, Marwa's first PA. So basically what I'm trying to say is that when she arrived in Nyabohanse, she was given a warm reception. Imagine, free accommodation, free food, free water. And everything free, free, free. Like literally free. Don't come here and tell me you are whatever. That she gave out some money and all that. Uh -uh. What I know and what we know is that Joyce's was given everything free. Everything free at her disposal. Do you get the tingle? And among the people that came to Nyabohanse, and I'm talking about the foreigners, Forget about the Kenyans. Among the foreigners, Joyce's is the one who overstayed in Nyabohanse. And actually, it reached a point where people started making fun of her. Do you remember that time? Someone like Mayugno made a, made a comment and said that, you know, sometimes a visitor can come and overstay. Like you can plant, the, uh, you know, it's a planting season. They help you plant and then they stay until they help you harvest. You know, there's a long duration between planting and harvesting. And that was just a way of mocking Joyce's dairy. And why was it that these people were mocking her? Does it mean that she was not welcomed in Nyabohanse? Of course she was. 
but it reached a point where she started misbehaving. And it is this misbehavior that made people, you know, feel like it was high time this lady went back to her own country. And you know recently what Joyce has been doing? She has been out there, you know, doing videos, uh, talking about her experience in Nyabohanse, which is okay. Do you get a tingle? It is okay. She has uh, so far done two videos, if I'm not wrong. The first one she talked about Marwa. The second one she talked about Paris Mumo. And there's another one that she said she'll do and talk about Minhawi. And in her own uh, talking, it reached a point where she started blaming Uncle Mo. So if you don't know who Uncle Mo is, Uncle Mo is Dimwango's uncle. That is the brother to congrats mom. And you know, she was like, there's a time that she said in her first uh, reaction video that congrats mom wanted her to marry one of the brothers. Do you get the tingle? You know the way she's just trying to, to justify the way like, hey, I can't marry such people. You know, I can't stay in such a place. Or, you know, the way she... Uh, she was saying like when you look at her if you just know her past dating history there is no way she can date men like marwa and kolmo and the rest of the nyabohanse crew and this is where the problem is joyce is you better shut up if i were you i would just relax breathe in breathe out and concentrate on growing my channel in whichever the way possible you have opened a Pandora's box. And my friend, hey, you will not like the outcome. And that is why I started by saying, whatever you see in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Whatever you do in Vegas, it remains in Vegas. Those are experiences that you would not want anybody to know about. We all know about uh, Las Vegas. Who doesn't know about Las Vegas? Who doesn't know about Las Vegas? And that is why we have this uh, phrase, if you want, or a cliche, that whatever you see there, let it be there. Because it is not even something that you can bring yourself to share with people. So Joyce started opening the box, talking about Marwa. Oh, Marwa did this to me. Oh, Marwa did that to me. Oh, Marwa is ugly. I can't date a person like Marwa. You know. Then came to Paris Mumo. Oh, Paris Mumo is a very dirty woman. Oh, she cannot afford to buy sanitary pads. She does not brush her teeth. You know, those petty, petty stuff. And by the way, when she was doing that uh, live stream, and especially the first and the second one, yeah, both the live stream, you know, the naysayers were like cheering her. Yes, sister, spill it, sister. Hey, these people, my friend, when you hear them calling you sister, you better run for your life. And you better run like your life depends on that running. Because it is a way of making you feel warm, feel cozy. And then keep on talking, yapping, like you don't have common sense. And that is what, uh, you know, Joyce, uh, Joyce's diary ended up doing. Talking, 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 talking. And these ladies were so happy. And you know, they would uh, talk about it in their channel. Oh, Joyce will be dropping another video. I can't wait to hear what she want to say. Why are they waiting for this? Because that is content. <laughs> Joyce, do you get it? That is content, my dear. That is content. And everyone is waiting for you just to open your mouth and talk. And then they are going to pick that. And they are going to fry you on, in your own oil. Do you get the tingle? They are going to, uh, to fry you. They are going to beat you left and right. And by the time you are done with your expose, my friend, you will be nothing, nothing to them. You'll have no significance to them. Actually, they're going to forget you. It's like you never existed. Do you get the tingle? So you would rather shut up if you know what is good for you. Uncle Mo came out two days ago to talk about this issue. And when you listen to Uncle Mo, because I'll attach at the start of this, when you listen to Uncle Mo, Uncle Mo is so bitter because this woman is very ungrateful from Uncle Small's own words. Uncle Mo says that when Jay, remember he uses Jay, of course we know Jay is, it is you, Joyce, which other woman went to Nyabohanse that is a drunkard if it is not you? And you see, you're opening boxes that are going to end up smearing your face in a bad way, in the limelight. And that is why I said, you rather shut up if you know what is good for you. Joyce's 
Uncle Mo is complaining a lot. Uncle Mo says that he did everything for Joyce's fetching water. And Uncle Mo says that it was during the dry season. And especially if, I don't know whether you have this experience, especially my international audience. If you are, you are fetching water from the borehole, during dry season, the water level obviously will go low. That means that you will have to use a lot of energy to get water because the hole will be deeper. Uncle Mo says that he would fetch water for Joyce to do her shenanigans, washing, you know, um, literally washing and bathing. And Uncle Mo also said that he would carry the water from outside to the bathroom for Joyce to shower. And then Joyce is out here saying that Uncle Mo is attacking her, that Uncle Mo does not want her channel to grow. Uncle Mo says that he did a lot of things for you, cooked for you. <laughs> hey, cooked for you. Hey, Uncle Mo gave you his papas, or if you want papayas. You ate Uncle Mo's papayas and finished up. You ate. Uncle Mo says that. Uncle Mo says he would get fruits for you and chop them for you or dice them for you. And you'd sit and enjoy. Now when you went back, you forgot all about that. And you started saying that Uncle Mo is a slave. Seriously, in this 21st century, do we still have slaves anywhere in this world? Do we? And don't come here and tell me that we have a slavery in countries like, I don't know where and where, Saudi Arabia and such. We don't have um, a slavery as per se. And there's no way Uncle Mo can become a slave in his own sister's home. Uncle Mo did all that out of good faith. Uncle Mo was not interested in you. He was not interested in you. Joyce's, you see, you come out here to speak. Now see the things that you are getting? Very embarrassing, very embarrassing. With all due respect, Joyce's, you'd rather concentrate on something else. Leave out Nyabohanse. Whatever happened in Nyabohanse, let it be. Let it rest. Breathe in and out. Take your water. Let it rest. Because people have so many things to say about you. The things that you did in Nyabohanse. There is a time a person came out here and talked about how you would disappear at night. Joyce, where were you going to? Where were you going to? Eh? Where were you going to? To do your own escapades. Of which is okay. You are a grown-up. In fact, I have no problem with that because you are a grown-up. But now, when you force people to come out and speak of exactly what you are doing, don't you think that will be embarrassing to you? To your own daughters as you always talk about them here in the whitey streets. Don't you think it is going to be embarrassing? Just imagine... Uncle Mo has come out to say very specifically, nobody harassed you, nobody touched your Toto. I know you get the thing or you understand what Toto is. Nobody touched your Toto. Rather than or other than one fellow drunkard, that particular man that you are taking alcohol with, that man never touched you without your consent. Remember, that is what has been brought to us. And it is our work to, anal to do the analysis. Joyce's, you have started what you won't be able to finish. You see what Uncle Mo says? That you would sleep with that man by the river. Really? Don't you see that is embarrassing? Why don't you just uh, sash? Leave it to rest. Why don't you focus on something else? And Uncle Mo has said, the next time he comes out here, he's going to mention the name of the man and he's going to bring the photo of the man that you are exchanging saliva with. <laughs> My audience, I know you get the tingle. You know, the man that Joyce was exchanging saliva with. Uncle Mo has said he's going to reveal the man. The next time... You push him to eat. So Joyce's, your experience was your experience. 
your choices were your choices so my dear if i were you i would just um take it easy i would focus on on, on other types of content just to let the past be because whatever is going to come in a few days will be ugly how do you know that they don't have even videos of you don't play with content creators you are a content creator and if there's one thing that content creators can do if they want is to record including what is private they can do that so how do you know that they even recorded you there in the river while you're exchanging saliva with this uh, fellow drunkard how do you know how do you know they have these receipts so to be safe you would rather focus on something else and remember the naysayers have no friendship uh -uh. whatever they are doing is pretense they want to trigger you to keep on giving them information and when i looked at your videos you are so excited super super excited it is like you are you had made a discovery <laughs> it is like you had discovered some medicine for i don't know what for hiv and aids or what is it you are so excited like you had made a great discovery and you know the excitement made you to keep on talking and talking you were jittery you looked confused and all that chill chill let these people be because they are going to uh put your white career into um to an end because for them they don't care what they care for is content after the content you are null and void and that is it so please joyces take care take care Thank you so much, my people. If you have watched this video up to this end, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And by the way, you can join my membership if you feel so. Pick the package that is pocket-friendly to you. If you have not subscribed and you like what I am doing, why don't you consider subscribing? Thank you so much and goodbye for now.